Hello everyone, I'm Carrie Kaufman and I'm joined here today by Julia Aurora, who is the CEO of AIS Solutions based in Canada. Now you might notice we're not in Canada and we're not in San Diego. <laughs> we are currently in the Dominican Republic. And why do we look so fabulous tonight, Juliet? Because we've just had the most amazing couple of days. Plus it's warm and it's sunny. How can you not? Yeah. <laughs> so the reason why we're here is Juliet has uh, arranged a leadership retreat for her team and invited me to come facilitate. And we had such a powerful experience over the past three days. Um, the growth that we saw in the team, the collaboration, the bonding, the team building, just the cultural dynamics, as well as some really good practical ideas and some strategic big thinking ideas as well have all come out of this in just the last few days. So Juliet, this is your first retreat of this nature. I know you've done other offsites before, but you've yes. never did anything quite like this. And I'd love for you to just share what are the top couple of things that you think if there's a, a leader who's considering doing an offsite, maybe never done it before, what are your best couple of tips um, or maybe even things to avoid that you think made this such a success that another leader can learn from and maybe apply in their own company? Absolutely. So in the past, all of the retreats that we've done or the bringing all the team in one place has always centered around a conference uh, for our industry. And this is the first time that we've done it where the whole focus has just been on us. And I think that's been a fundamental shift for us, that there haven't been distractions of other people, distractions where the, the main part of their day is spent elsewhere. Mm -hmm. And then we're just kind of an afterthought. Right. They felt much more like they were the core reason that we were here and it was all about them. So I think that was a, a really big one. What were some of the key things that you saw take place in the team? Was there, was there anything that surprised you or that you found particularly exciting or encouraging? Well, I was really nervous, as you know, um, <laughs> leading up to it because usually it always has been around something else that we haven't had to, to try and, and fill the time and make sure that it was gonna be a valuable um, experience. The emotion, I was stunned. And this was on day one. I would have expected, you know, after being together for a couple days, that and there and the bonding took place and the, the deeper conversations. But on day one, there were a lot of emotional conversations. Um, and we had said, you know, that one of the things we didn't plan for were Kleenex boxes on the tables, right. which we probably <laughs> should have had. Uh, so that was certainly surprising for me. Yeah. Um, anything else that you think made this work particularly well? If you were to give advice to somebody else that, um, so, Go off site, make it just about your team. Yep. That was, I think the other thing I heard you say, um, not too many other distractions involved. Although we did have plenty of downtime. Yes. Uh, plenty of time for the beach and dinners together and, and you know fun and relaxation, personal time, um, but other, no business distractions. Correct. Um, anything else that you would advise somebody to consider if they were looking to plan a retreat? I think the third thing is what you just said. Um, our normal tendency is, okay, well, we're incurring this expense to bring everybody down. Let's get the most that we possibly can, schedule the Conference whole- Conference eight to five. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I think, so we had scheduled it nine in the morning to uh, one in the afternoon. And then the rest of it was leisure time. We'd get together for dinner, but otherwise everyone got to hang out by the pool, yeah. hang on the beach. And as valuable as that time was where we were sitting in a conference room, I think that the bonding and the connections with the team all took place in those other hours. Yeah. So don't overschedule it. Yes, absolutely. And today on day three, we actually didn't even go to a room with technology and all that. We just sat in the empty hotel bar um, and it was very informal and collaborative. We did some whiteboard sessions. It was great. And I've heard from the team that in the afternoon, just like you said, we all go to the pool, go to the beach and talk about it. Yes. And the ideas continue to, to brew and that you're getting excited about things. So yes. it's been fantastic. Any final thoughts that you would have? Um, the only other thing is all of our team couldn't make it. So we did include them even though it was virtual. It wasn't the same experience, but I did hear from the people who weren't physically here that they still got a lot out of, they didn't get the, they still got a lot out of the, you know, the nine to one, even though they weren't part of the other conversations, right. they still found it valuable. So don't, don't exclude them just because they're not able to be here. Yeah, yeah, good advice. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for sharing. Thanks for having me be a part it of was, your retreat as well. I think a big part of the success of the entire thing was absolutely you facilitating. And you bring an objective voice. They hear from me all the time. I think having someone else like yourself come in, absolutely invaluable. 
Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Well, now we're off to the final dinner, yes. the award ceremony, and then Julie and I are going to sit on the beach for the next couple of days. So Absolutely. Cheers, Juliet. Cheers. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching, everyone.